to get the third layer in your Rubik's Cube, what you need to do is, for the rest of the solve, you're going to take your first side, the first layer, and turn it upside down, so that the downside is now your upside. Now the next step is to get the yellow cross. The yellow cross looks like this. In order to get your yellow cross, what you need to do is you're going to have one of four cases. And the first case looks like this, where you have no pieces that are facing up. And just a note, on the Rubik's Cube, if every, if every edge is in its correct spot, and there cannot be one single edge or any odd number of edges that are unoriented, meaning flipped wrong. So you cannot have one edge that is going to be flipped up, and you cannot have three edges that are going to be flipped up. It's just not possible on the Rubik's Cube. You need to have either two, zero, or four, an even number. Now what you're going to do is, for this case, you're going to do an algorithm. And this is the first algorithm you're going to actually have to use in order to solve the Rubik's Cube. The algorithm is an F, R, U, R, I, U, I, F, I. And that will get you a case where you have two edges flipped right. When you get to this case, what you're going to do is you're just going to rotate the cube, or even just the upside, until it looks like a backwards L. Because if you were to rotate it like this, it looks like an L. So you're going to hold it, or rotate it, so that it's a backwards L on the top side, the upside. And you're going to do that algorithm again, from with this being on the upside. F R U R I U I F I. And that will give you a case where you have a line instead. And you can hold this line in any position as long as it's horizontal, not vertical. And it has to be on the upside. And you do the algorithm one more time. F R U R I U I F I and that will get you to your cross. And that leads you through all four situations you can run into, all four cases. The first one was the dot, the second one was the backwards L, the third one was the line, and the fourth one is the cross. It's not really a case, it's just a situation you can run into. And that's how you get your cross. The next step would be to orient all the corners so that you have your yellow side all facing up. To do this, you can have one of many cases. And the first case I want to show you looks like this, where you have one corner that's already oriented correctly. What you're going to do for this is you're going to take this corner and rotate it, or just turn the whole cube, into a position so that it's in the bottom left of the up face. <coughs> you may notice that this yellow sticker is also facing you, and you may notice that's not facing you. Now, whether it's facing you or not, you're still going to do this algorithm. R, U, R, I, U, R, U, 2, R, I. And that will orient your top layer, if it was facing you when you were doing that algorithm. If it was not facing you, you might have something that looks like this, where you have the same exact situation, one corner is facing up, and when you put it in the bottom left, it's not facing you. It doesn't matter if it's not facing you. All you have to do is do the same algorithm. R U R I U R U 2 R I. And then you'll notice you have the same exact case again, or what looks like the same exact case. When you rotate it into the bottom left of the up face, the corner will be facing you. And you just do the algorithm again. R U R I U R U 2 R I. And that will solve your yellow side. Another case you can run into is this, where you have two corners that are next to each other that are misoriented. And again, you're going to use the same algorithm. All you have to do is just make sure that the two corners are facing you, and they are, um, the yellow sides are facing you, if you have this case. And you do that algorithm. R, U, R, I, U, R, U, 2, R, I. That will give you a case you can already solve.
just like that. Another case you can run into is this, which is similar to the last one, except the corners are facing the opposite side, not the same side. They're facing away. What you want to do is hold it so that one of these is facing you, but it's not. It's on the left side. These one of these yellow pieces is on the left side, and you do the algorithm: R U R I U R U two R I, and that will give you a case you can already solve. Just like that. The next case you can run into is where you have four corners that are misoriented. And that's all of them. Now there are two cases you can run into when you have this. You can either have two corners that are facing one side and then two that are opposite like this. And the other one I'll show you next. In this, For this one you just have to do the same thing. You have to do something similar except you hold it in the bottom right of the up face and it faces you on the right side and do that algorithm. R U R I U R U 2 R I and that will give you a case you can already solve. Like that. The last case is where you also have four corners but there are two yellow stickers that are facing one side and if you turn it around same thing on the other side. Just hold it so that any two of these stickers are facing you and you do the algorithm again same algorithm R U R I U R U 2 R I and that will give you a case like this where you have opposite corners and if you have opposite corners like this you need to hold it so that one is in the bottom right of the up face and it's facing you the yellow part of it and you do that algorithm again R U R I U R U 2 R I and that will give you a case you can already solve. Like that. Now that that last case, the opposites case, the case where you have two on this side and two on this side, that's the hardest one to solve because it takes the, lo the most amount of time.